Hey everybody, doing a little update on a bed that we bought from Bob's Discount Furniture. So this here is our Bobopedic, whatever it is, yada yada, and we really like the mattress. The problem is, is this bed. So the frame that it comes with, or I shouldn't say comes with, the frame that we chose to go with this king size mattress is this one. Now, I don't know the model number and all that. I'm not going to get into it, but we got this about six months ago in that range uh, from Bob's Discount Furniture in Rockaway, New Jersey. Now, I just want to show you some of the failures on this bed frame. So here you can see the actual frame, the headboard, the side rails, and then the drawers that are inside. Now here's, here's what my big issue is. This is the problem, right? I'm 200 pounds. I lay on the bed, the bed's gonna move if it's not supported correctly. So they install these slats that go completely across the entire bed frame. Some of the slats have posts or little columns that you can see. Let me get this down here so you can see them. They're screwed in like here, right? I can push down on this, that's not going anywhere. They have two at the head two in the middle, then they skip three rows. Three rows, right where our fat asses lay on the bed. Why would you skip three rows? That's the most important spot that you would wanna have more reinforcement. So of course, look this, nice and strong, right? Watch this, look at this. Look at how much movement there is there. Look, I'm gonna go down on the side so you can see. How ridiculous is that? That's what all three of the slats look like in between the supports. So you've got two at the head, two at, I guess, where you could say your shoulders would land, nothing where your butt would be, and then kind of at your thighs, and then these are kind of useless at the very end. I get that they're supporting these two rows at the very end, but who the hell is jumping up and down on the end of the bed right here? I mean, that's where your feet go, right? The lightest weight part of your body. So in between their supports, there is no support. Look at this. Look at these things bounce up and down. That's their support. What a joke. So what I've done is I'm going to cut, I've already cut some two by fours. These are going to get mounted underneath of these slats so that it provides some extra support so that our butts don't sag. You spend a lot of money on a bed, a lot of money on a bed to find out that your butt is doing this when you get into the bed. And I couldn't understand why, and this is exactly why, right here. That's it, right there. Cheap, it's a shame, what a poor design. I feel like they should owe me money because now I've gotta fix a brand new bed that should be supported properly to hold an average size human. Now you put my wife in there, put the kids on there, everybody's hanging out, doing their thing, and the bed's doing this. That's the way it goes. So. That's my review of the Bob's king size frame, which in my opinion should be fixed. And I feel like they owe me money because I've got to make my bed stronger to hold normal people. Shame on you, Bob's.